Hello, I'm Kate Emily and welcome to my channel. I'm a brand and content strategist and love helping small business owners just like you build their brands online. So there's lots of controversy about how you pronounce the word GIF. Is it GIF or is it GIF? Apparently the person that created it says it's GIF, but then there's controversy around that. Anyway, choose what you want, but I'm gonna go with GIF because it makes sense to me. But basically a GIF is just a compressed file format um, and it just allows for easy transfer of that image or video. The most popular form of GIF that you'll be aware of is those animated GIFs. Um, we love them so much. They're often used to portray something funny or a personality or a feeling. Um, yeah, they're good. I love them. I love GIFs. But today I'm going to show you how to create your own. So using a video that you've already created. I like creating these every week for my weekly emails that go out because it creates that sort of attention grabbing piece of content in my emails without using sound and it's so easy to do and it kind of differentiates me from a lot of other emails that people receive. It takes all of two minutes so let's do this. So I'm just in iMovie right now and I've chosen a small chunk, a 12 second chunk of my latest video. I've just added an image, which an image overlay, which is this play sign, because when I put it into my emails, I want people to click on it directly and it will be linked to my video. So one thing you have to do before you export this is strip the audio. This will reduce the size of your file dramatically. And when you're creating a GIF, you don't need sound because it won't play sound anyway. So strip that out and then download. Then I come over to easygif.com and all you need to do is click on video to GIF, choose your file, uh, play button, and then upload video. And then you can watch what it's gonna look like if you want. But, you know, um, and then you just click convert to GIF. And that is it. So you wanna know, take note of what the file size is because if you're uploading it to something like an email, you want it to be under a gig. This is all well under a gig, so we're all good. And just by stripping out the audio, this has made the file size so much smaller. When I first started doing this, mine would always be around mm, five gig because I'd still keep the sound in there and I only discovered recently that I needed to strip the sound out and now they're tiny. So you don't need to do any more edits, but if for some reason you did, if you did need to um, reduce this size even more, you just go optimize and then go lossy GIF and optimize GIF. So lossy just means that it's reduced uh, file size. So it's a bit more compressed. It's not as good image quality, but for a GIF, it doesn't necessarily matter. And see how that's been reduced by 62, 66%, sorry. So down to 4.3 meg, um, it was 12.9. So I could use that. See how the quality is slightly not as good, but I mean, for a GIF, it's fine. For your emails, it'll be fine. Then you just click save and that is it. So it's super easy, right? So I would just recommend making those GIFs as small as you can for your email if you are putting them in an email newsletter because when someone's open that email, you want it to load straight away. So just create a GIF as small as you can. And now I've got that lossy GIF version, I'll probably use that in my email. So did you know that creating a GIF was that easy? Well, if you're gonna start using GIFs more in your social media content, as well as on your emails, then comment below with a yes. But if you're just wanting to download a GIF that already exists, you know, like the popular TV shows or funny GIFs and that sort of thing, all you need to do is go to Giphy, literally giphy.com, and there's a whole lot here, but you can search by something specifically. So you might say happy 
an emotion, you know, something that you're wanting to portray. And then say we want this one. You just literally go save image as, and then it saves as a GIF. So then from there, you just upload that as an image in your email or in your social media content. And on that note, if you're wanting to see more tutorial videos like this one teaching you really simple hacks that help make your content even better, then make sure you click the like button because that lets me know that you've loved this video. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing because I release new videos every single Tuesday all around marketing and mindset stuff to help you build your brand online. So there's a lot of good stuff coming, so make sure you hit subscribe. If content strategy is something you need a little help with, then go and watch my three-part content strategy series, which goes through a whole lot of strategies that will help you create epic content quickly, effectively, and in a way that's going to create more engagement, more followers, more subscribers, all the more things um, to help you grow your business online. So go and watch part one now. It's a goodie. But on that note, thank you so, so much for watching. I really appreciate you being here. It means the world to me. Um, and I'll be back here next Tuesday with another video I know you're going to love. So until next time, bye for now.